Hello. Um, so you're looking at the wall in my Airbnb right now because I'm going to show you a couple things that I got today at the Miami Bend. I was originally scheduled to come to the Fort Lauderdale Posh Live event, but it was canceled. I'd already booked at Airbnb. So I decided, and luckily they're still open, um, to do a Ben's haul. Um, today I did Miami, tomorrow I'm going to do Fort Lauderdale, and then maybe on the Miami on the way home, depending on what Fort Lauderdale does today. So, um, the main people that I've been learning from, because the way I grew up thrifting, it was you're filling for quality fabrics. Y'all do stuff a lot different now. I mean, fabrics, it, it just depends. Some people are just looking for labels and they don't even care about the quality of the fabric and stuff. Me, I'm still gonna, I'm gonna grab stuff based on the fill and sometimes like the colors and stuff like that. And then I'll check it out after. Um, and then kind of weed stuff out by that, or I would have been buying 200 pounds of stuff today. Okay, so the first thing that I have, this is a sand in, uh, or sun and sand, what is this? sun and sand bag, and it looks brand new. It's like really cute. I love the little, the, the beading for the the straps and then it's got a really nice lining lining um i actually got um a sun and sand basket it, like a woven basket um for like i think it was like ten dollars at my salvation army on my island which that's what i'm saying you know like it, Bags and shoes, I, I would never be able to resell what I've bought for myself from my Salvation Army. Because they've already got, got them at, like, Poshmark prices. But this is, like, super cute. I got it in the bin so I could actually probably make money off of it if I wanted to. But this is mine. It looks brand new. It's gorgeous. Look at the weaving. So, that is a me find. And I, the bags and the shoes, I am definitely getting, like, last pick because people are just kind of, you know, I go to reach into a bin and everything in the bin's gone, like, before I can even touch something. I got one thing as the first thing in one round of bins, and these are cool. And I've got to figure out a way to shove my fat feet in them. I saw this exact same color and everything, but theirs was not as cracked on here. Um, it's the same size and everything, and she's got hers listed for 25 So, um, since mine's a little more cracked, I'd probably go like 20 If I can fit my feet in here, I'm keeping it, because these are wall their nike court force but i love the colors they're so cool yeah i need to fit my feet in this okay and then these i got for me all because these are actually my size eight and a half and these are sperry um duck ciders or yeah top ciders not duck ciders um, but look, they've got sequins on them. There's, like, a pair of sequined, um, top siders. I think it's on Poshmark, but they, it's a different under color. Like, this is, um, kind of a black and white print. The other one, I think, is, like, a silvery, and this lacing is white on that one. But I love the black patent leather. These are like so cute. And you know, I'm gonna have to clean them up and stuff, but these are for me, so it's fine. I only brought one in because I was just gonna show because they're cute. Alright, and then this bag 
Dion Dean was in my ear when I saw this bag. Because at first I was like, all these people just left this. It can't be a real leather. And I looked. And it is Luca de Altia. Um, genuine leather made in Italy. I looked this guy up. He does a lot of menswear, silk ties, shirts, stuff like that. The problem, and probably why nobody picked this up, is on one side there is paint on here. But having a mom that was a single mom in the 70s that taught me how to thrift, I know how to remove paint. I just have to hope that it hasn't um, kind of been in it too long that it's messed up the leather too bad. This is like really soft leather, but the smell even like, um, I was just in, I took my son to Europe for two months in 2018. And when we were in Rome, that was like, one of the things I wanted a real Italian bag by a real Italian cobbler, not like basic thing. And as we were walking back up to our Airbnb, or I think we were in like a hotel that time, um, but we had just been down to the forum and we we're walking back up the street, and all of a sudden I was like, <gasps> leather, I smell leather. And it was this teeny tiny little shop and just gorgeous leather everywhere. And his little table was there where he was cutting out the leather. And so I bought like two little crossbody bags um, and let my cousin who was watching our house um, and my gliders um, while we were gone. Um, so she picked one and then I got the other one, but this just really reminds me of the stuff that like was in his little shop. So, you know, it's a nice little hobo bag and I'm sure I'm going to be able to get this off easy, but yeah, it's so pretty and it's got a big heavy chain. It's got these nice details. Um, so nice hobo bag. When you said, you know, you can even just wear it on that side. But, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, you do want it on this side, so you got that. But, yeah, I'm going to get that clean. So, Dion, you know that uh, coach bag you got, you posted. You know, if I get this off here, we might have to have a trade. Because she keeps getting coach and I'm like a coach person because that was the first nice bag I ever bought for myself. Okay, so now this one, it's not like a big deal, but I really like this brand, Eco. And this one was special. I like because it the rhino and the Eco, Eco is pink. It's like a little pink. And it's got red and blue. So, I mean, the comp Eco United, you know, the comps on her insane, but I'm probably going to keep this for myself anyway. Because I like it, because it has a pink rhino. Okay, and then this, oh no. This is going to be one of those things where it just depends if I'm going to have a price. And if somebody wants to pay it, then they can have it. But if they don't want to pay it, then I'm going to have it. Kind of like a couple other things that are in my store that you will not see really drop below a certain level. Because if people aren't going to pay more, then it stays mine. So, this is Linda Allard, Ellen Tracy. Vintage. Actually, it doesn't have. I thought it had shoulder pads. It doesn't have shoulder pads. I I saw like a couple of these, and it's linen, definitely. It's, it's 
see their linen or cotton. It feels like linen. Let me see. What are you directly? Where are you? Yep, linen. See? You feel, you know. So, 100% linen. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at these colors. Um, the color showing up on the camera on my phone is like a true yellow, but this is actually a gold in person. So I'm not sure if it's the light fixture, which is really cool, um, or what. But yeah, it's more. It has more of an orange than what I'm seeing on my phone. So it's kind of like an orangey yellow, and um, I look and there's a yellow, um, there's like actually a few of them, a yellow floral of um, the Ellen Tracy's linen jackets on Poshmark, but that, this is not on there and I think too like once you can see the more golden tone to the shallow it makes it stand out even more I'm wondering now since I'm looking at this and it's looking so yellow if maybe because the other one looks a lot more yellow too so I wonder if maybe the the lighting on that one's messed up too and then it's more of this orangey yellow so but I love it and I'm going to list it at the highest end of the Ellen Tracy's and those are like this bolder kind of in your face prints. Look. Dang, even the buttons look more yellow than they are in person. Actually, okay, see this orange right there? That's actually what this looks like. So it's kind of like I don't know. But it's really cool and I love linen and since the eighties because I was um you know, I was in high school. I graduated in eighty four. Yes, I'm that old. Um so this is like definitely I totally was wearing this. Back in high school, up these with a pair of jeans, my t-shirt, oh, looks like there's a little stain right there, but that's easy to come out. Okay. So, those are the only things I'm going to show tonight, because I have some really awesome things to share in the haul video. Um, I also went and picked up 10 ikea bags because we don't have ikea down in the um in the keys and those bags are very handy and they're like twice as much on amazon but um when i went to do that we had to like pay five dollars for the convenience of going there and picking our stuff up so they gave me a five dollar gift card and i will do a drawing um, off of comments on my haul video that I'll do after I get home and I got like a little fun thing that I think I'm going to start doing for hauls but you guys will see that then talk to you later bye